Hello Pisces, welcome to your July 2020 monthly general reading. This is going to be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and an additional planetary placements. Please do know that this will be a general reading, so not all the informations or energies will resonate with everybody out there. Please take what does, leave what doesn't, don't try to make anything fit, and most of all, do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading, because not all the informations or energies would be available to you. So, if you're looking for something tailored to your situation, please do get a private reading and for me, you can find that information in the detailed box down below this video. Okay, really quick shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for hanging in there. I know the month of June, I was very, very literally posting, very literally, <laughs> I was not posting very much. I was taking a little reprieve to uh, rebuild my energies and going through a bit of a transformation myself. That being stated, let's go ahead and just jump into your reading. I am back and feeling great, so here we go. So this is going to be um, situations, energies, things that are coming to a conclusion for you that I'll be leaving for the month of June and the, or July, excuse me, and this is what is coming in. All right, so we have the Princess of Summers, general, gentle, sensitive, kind, and experience in your relationship or emotional experience, invitation to a social event, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So what I am already picking up with this is this is the Page of Cups. So what I'm getting is that there was a, an emotional situation that was making your emotions run high in the month of June, and that is actually coming to a conclusion. You could be, yeah, you've gotten the truth, um, some clarity in this situation with this Page of Swords, and it could be related around family with this Ten of Pentacles. For, so there's something that's come to a conclusion here. I do feel like for some of my um, Pisces out there that you do have somebody that you can lean on and um, that is very supportive of, of you going forward. So this is definitely a situation that was very emotionally driven that you've now got the clarity on. And again, this could be in relationship to either family or um, I'm also getting career for some of you. Yeah, you've gotten the wisdom. You've gotten the wisdom needed to create something new for you. All right, something else that is wrapping up. Okay, we have the emperor. Use logic, logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. This could be a significant Aries that you were dealing with. Or the, the sense I'm also getting that you are not in this position of power. But that is kind of changing. I feel like you're taking charge. Yeah, we got in the Magician. Um, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, where you are unbalanced, where you are not taking control or charge, um, you're definitely tempering those energies. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But you're manifesting balance and equal reciprocity. So I feel like you're really taking control now. So where you are out of control, not in... You know, this would have been around your time, your money, your abilities, your feelings. Like things were just out of balance and needed to be tempered here. But now things are moving forward because you're manifesting, um, being in control. This could also have to do with your divine masculine. All right. So what do we have here? Four of Autumns. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Um, help out those who are less fortunate getting the Ten of Cups with that, yeah, where you are out of balance, where you're not feeling that joy, that bliss, that happiness, I feel like where you've been, we're holding back, maybe out of fear, yeah, that is coming to a conclusion as well, yeah, that all is wrapping up, um, you're really focusing now towards overcoming any obstacles in your way to achieve this Ten of Cups, that's happy, that happiness, that joy, that bliss in your life. So what is wrapping up and leaving for you is any emotional situation where you do not feel balanced or in control and where maybe fear was kind of overriding your senses. But now um, you're kind of taking power and control back. You're bringing things into balance. You're manifesting your happiness. All right. So let's take a look at what is coming in for the month of July. Okay, so we're getting the King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. 
you're going to have reason to celebrate. This could be the King of Pentacles. Um, you, so you could be involved with a significant earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. It does not have to be, but I really do feel like um, there's going to be reasons to celebrate. Um, I feel like for some of you, or definitely, we have, look at this, coming into partnership. does not have to be romantic, by the way. This is more life guidance than it is love readings, but love can show up in this reading. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a partnership that you're coming into connection with that is going to be very stable and um, very successful. And you're going to have reasons to celebrate. For some of you, this could be coming into partnership or or reconnecting reconciliation with, yeah, with a first sign. All right, so five of Michael. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachments to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So this is a five of swords. There's something that's, you know, there's going to be a little bit of conflict. And we're getting the double. So there's going to be a, to a toxic situation that is not serving you over a center around a partnership. Could be with a Capricorn, but there is going to be a lot of conflicts. Um, definitely, this is telling me to really you know release your outcome don't expect it don't don't expect one certain thing to happen time to take everything into consideration and find um meditate and find a more um gentle and peaceful approach to handling the situation all right so we have a new beginning here we have the ace of pentacles a new opportunity yes temperance is coming out on that so it's tempering those energies is going to lead to a new opportunity um, this is new resources, a money time, or support, a change in job or promotion. Um, so something new, very passionate, is beginning here. Let's see what else we can get on that. Yeah, forward movement. Definitely moving forward. This is going to happen very, very quickly. For some of you, this is centered around possibly a Gemini or love. But um, there is a new opportunity here. Okay, so we're getting the seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. This is a seven of swords that lies in the to tap truth, trickery. Yeah, that is coming to an end. You're going to see right through that. Something that you were kind of holding on, waiting for, that's kind of very been a little bit tiring and stress, kind of stress. I feel like you're going to get an apology and you're going to have, yeah, you're going to take a leap of faith in a new direction. You're going to get unstuck. So anything that has been kind of negative um, or just not like really working, that's that's kind of ending for you here. What is the nine of Gabriel? Stay determined, move forward, be prepared for any possibilities. What is this nine of Gabriel? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> We're getting the sun, the star. Nice. Yeah, where you are st stuck. In regards to stability and financial resources, that's coming to an end. Yeah, Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. You are going to cut out anything that's not going to serve your highest purpose. You're moving forward towards happiness and wish fulfillment. Three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step. Optim optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So you're making a judgment call towards a new opportunity. For some of you, this could be a third-party situation. It does not have to be romantic again. Yeah. And the energy to watch out for is the Four of Pentacles. Holding on to something that's no longer serving your highest good or interest. Um, holding on out of fear of and not allowing anything to move. Out of being afraid. This is a time to open up, take new opportunities, make a judgment call, and move past the things that were holding you back. Move past this Five and Seven of Swords energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, taking quick action towards growth and expansion. Um, and this could be in all aspects of your life. All right, I'm now going to grab some oracle cards for you. Rising Venus, July 24, please. Best message for my Pisces. Alright, here we go. Surrender to the divine. Yes, don't fight that. A full moon. 
And this is allowing yourself, yeah, what do you need to release? Um, you're being guided to release some things here, the seven of Michael's, the four of Pentacles, where you are holding back out of fear. You've got the clarity needed to move forward. Um, you've got the ability to make the changes that are necessary. And you're being divinely guided on how to do this and what needs to be done here. So it's really looking at what needs to be released and surrendering your will to the divine, not trying to force it through. All right. And Oracles of the Fairy. And so fairies have to say for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and revealing your true beauty. Yes, yeah, stepping into your power, absolutely, Pisces. Absolutely stepping into your own power and shining bright. All right, and from the sacred oracle deck. This is kind of like my favorite here. I see Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, July 2020, please. Most important messages for my Pisces. Forgiveness. All right. So that, there is a message with that. It is human to want to hold on to the past. Our memories, our experiences, and relationships. However, there can be times when we are carrying so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or a recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to recur in the future. The key is to be willing and ready to simply and cleanly let go of the hold that the past has on you. The past is gone and it's okay to let it go. The way to do this is to fully immerse yourself in the here and now. Be super aware of the insights, sounds, smells, textures, and energies of the present. When you do this, the past simply vanishes and the glory of the present emerges. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, release. We, ha we see a lot of releasing, forgiving. Any situation yourself or others that were involved, I mean, it does not need to mean that you need to accept what has happened and allow it to happen again. This is just kind of making peace with the situation and releasing it so that it no longer has that four of pentacles hold on you so that you can move forward. Don't want to get stuck and stagnated when there's beautiful things that are waiting to come through and you're being guided now to make those changes, to make those release, to, to forgive and shine from within because there are beautiful new beginnings that are waiting to emerge. I mean, you have the, the sun and the star here. So this is the happiest card of the tarot, followed by the wishes from being granted from the universe. And that's what's trying to come in, but the past has to be released. You can't keep holding in that holding pattern. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for your monthly guidance for July 2020. Please let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you. I do look at all comments. I may not always get to respond to everybody, but I do read them. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Remember to check out your lo July Love Monthly reading that's also being released with this as well. So I will see you hopefully soon. Namaste. Bye for now.